Hello, my name is Mike Roslog and I'm the product manager for Rad Studio. Welcome to another quick hit video. Just wanted to go out there and show you some more things that you can do inside of Delphi 2010 and uh, how you can use the editor just a little bit better. Now I'm back in that same example that I've been using for the last couple of these quick hit videos and I wanted to just show you a couple of things right off the bat. Now when you first come in you notice that there is a green line now in 2010 that goes along the side. What this is basically telling you is that if the line has been changed be from the last save. So if I would come in here and let's say that I would change B back from uh, B equals 12 to B equals zero. Notice that it turns from green to yellow. And basically that just gives me a quick uh, view of what is has changed from that. Now, once I save this, now there may be a concept or an idea where, you know, what was, the, I, I just forgot what I changed that from. Was it, was it 10, 12, 19, 17, I can't remember. So what you can do is you can always come in here to history, click on your past history, from this standpoint come on down and you'll notice that when we go up here to the top uh, structure that we will see that you know it's now set to zero if we go one more back we'll uh, see that it was set to 12 originally so it's a way for you to go back and look at that so that's just something to keep in mind from the history standpoint now another thing that you can do inside of this process is that sometimes we get coding and we kind of forget things so you know maybe I might want to come down here and say something like my new ver colon equals one semicolon now you know what is my new ver I just I just type that in well I can right mouse click on this and go into the refactor now if you've not used refactoring before refactoring basically allows you to modify your code and do a couple of things so I can come into here and go into let's go ahead and declare a variable when I declare the variable it's going to say my new ver it's an of integer type and yeah I want to go ahead and introduce that so when I do that it comes up here my new ver is actually added to my ver section my bear is then cleaned up. Now, of course, when I didn't have this in there, you know, I had the undeclared, so I could go up to my structure pane and see which errors were located. And then, of course, if I put it back in there, then, of course, it disappears. Now, another uh, thing. Now, notice my if statement inside of here. Inside of 2010, we introduced a new formatter so that you could look at your key. Now, this is the default for doing if statements. And I'm not, real, I'm not a big fan of the if statements being lined up that way. So what I want to do is I would like my if statements to indent things. So to do that, I can basically come into Tools, go into Options. When I go into options, I can go into my Delphi identification, and what I want to do is I want to indent the blocks to begin with the begin and end, and notice that it's set to false. That's the default. I want this to actually be true, so I'm going to go in there and say OK. I'm now going to come into this process, and I'm going to highlight uh, this code, and then I'm going to come up to the edit, and I'm going to go into format source code. And you'll notice that it starts indenting things a little bit cleaner and easier for me. So again, just making a simple little change on that can make a big difference. Now, let's say that, you know, I have this option, my option, true, false kind of thing. And you notice I have the, all these variable types up here. Now, this is kind of a weak example, but just go along with me on this one. Let's say that I wanted to, I wanted to take the setting of the variables or the defining of those variables and put that into a, a, a local spot so that I could just make sure that A, B, C, D, all that stuff is kind of taken care of. So I can right mouse click on this after selecting it, go back into that refactoring structure, and now what I might want to say is extract method. When I do that, it's going to come up and say, hey Mike, what kind of method do you want? And I can just say, we'll call this my set varrors method. And we'll, I'll even put a method uh, name on there so you can see what it's looking at. It's going to go out there, it's going to create the variables just like we were doing, and it's going to go ahead and initiate them. When I say OK, what happens is, is notice that it adds my method, the call to the method. It then added the new method up here to the top. Notice it added it into my private area to set vars. And then down below, it also set up my procedure down below that basically says, here's my various selection. So in just a couple of uh, quick seconds, we went out and we added some stuff. We added some new variables. We extracted methods. We used the code formatter. We used guidelines on the side to find out if there was any changes in the code that I was writing. And we also looked at how to use the history tab to go back and view what I might have changed. Again, just a, a bunch of little quick hits for you. Hopefully you find some of these useful. Again, Thanks for listening, and I hope you'll come back and see some more things that we're going to be doing. Thanks a lot. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.